The seven-day postponement of the launch of GSLV Mark III carrying Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft will apparently not hold off the soft landing of the lander, Vikram, as planned earlier. If the mission had begun on July 15, the landing was scheduled for September 6 or 7. Now it is expected to touch the lunar surface on September 7. ISRO has made some changes in the phases the mission would go through. While the vehicle lifted off at 2.43 pm on July 22, the Chandrayaan-2 module separated from it after 16 minutes and 55 seconds. Since the engine burned around 19 seconds more than expected, the apogee has been increased by around 6,000 km. This will save the fuel in the spacecraft for orbital maneuvers on its way to the moon. ISRO chairperson K7 hailed this feat and claimed an increase of 15% in the performance of GSLV Mark III when compared to the previous launch. As per earlier plan, the period of earthbound phase was 17 days, but it has been increased to 23 days to give the module the escape velocity. Also, the position of the moon varies each and every day while orbiting the Earth. Its position must be along the path on which the module is released. The days are adjusted so that the moon is in particular position during the translunar injection. On day 23, the spacecraft will attempt translunar injection to place itself in the lunar transfer trajectory. The trajectory phase will last for 8 days until day 30. The number of days of the trajectory phase has also increased by 2 as the travel distance of the satellite will be more, but this will not increase the fuel consumption. Finally, the lunar orbit insertion will happen on day 30 as against day 22, which was planned earlier. On day 30, the lunar bound phase will begin. The phase was supposed to last 28 days as per the earlier plan, but it has been reduced to 13 days. Apogee is the furthest orbital point of the spacecraft from Earth. In Earthbound phase, the Apogee has been increased, thereby raising the velocity of the spacecraft. In the Lunarbound phase, the module will be getting an orbit of around 18,100 km from the Moon and it will have to reduce it to 100 km. ISRO planned a 28-day Lunarbound phase to be on the safe side. Reducing it to 13 days will not have any impact on the mission as the spacecraft needs only 4 rotations. While the orbiter lander separation will happen on day 43, deboosting will take place the next day. On day 48 or September 7, the lander Vikram will soft land on the lunar surface. The changes in the phases of the mission have been made so as to achieve the landing on that particular day as a landing point at the southern part of the moon would experience daylight. This is important to generate solar power. Vikram and the rover named Pragyan will conduct experiments in the lunar surface for a lunar day which is 14 days.